I am California of the past. I am California of the past. I am California of the past. Richard Backus. I live in Corvallis, Oregon, but I grew up as Dickie Backus in Pomona, California in the 1940s. I'd like to tell you about a wonderful man whom my family referred to as Unc. Walk with me down memory lane of those bygone days when life was oh so simple, slower, and a lot more pleasant. This is my story called Life with Unc. Unc was E.D. Bradley, a wealthy real estate broker and citrus grower, his nickname was given to him by his nephew Kim's family from Alhambra, California. Mr. Bradley had been a real estate developer and citrus grower, pioneer of the community, and very prominent civic leader in the Pomona Valley area since the early 1900s. When my family met him, he was semi-retired in his 70s. Mr. Bradley was a widower since his wife had passed on a few years before. He lived alone in a very large, comfortable home next door to our cramped, apartment building, where we, the family of Carl and Lillian Backus, and two sons, Bobby and Dickie, lived since coming to California from the east. As time passed by, we became better acquainted with Mr. Bradley, and when he saw my brother Bobby and me playing outdoors, he would offer us these wonderful, large, juicy, freshly picked oranges, which he had grown in his orchard in nearby Claremont. Each week, Mom would usually bake either cookies, pie, or cake for our family, and when she discovered that Unc was a widower and living alone, she offered to share these with him. Since Mom was a super cook, she loved to prepare special dishes for us and asked Bobby and me to take him samples. Now and then, he would in- we would invite him to join us for supper in our tiny kitchen, and he always appreciated being included in our family meal. Mr. Bradley really loved Mom's cooking and always looked forward to what surprising recipes she would prepare. Before he met our family, he would usually eat all his meals alone in restaurants and cafes. As a result of being alone, he missed having family around and wanted to reach out to us and desired to share his way of life. So he invited us to visit with him in his home one evening, and naturally this would be a new experience for our family. And he also asked if mom would be willing to prepare supper for the occasion. She said she would enjoy that very much because she loved to cook. When we had finished eating, Unc invited us to join him in the living room, stating that he had something to discuss with our family. As I remember, he offered dad an imported Cuban cigar and possibly a brandy or sherry. I noticed his large console zenith radio practically new close to where we were sitting and after we'd moved into his home this would be the place where we would gather each evening to listen to our favorite radio programs but that's another story for another time during our discussion mr bradley asked if our family would be interested in sharing his home he offered to pay all the expenses including food utilities and other incidentals and would allow us to live in pure luxury and comfort of his home as long as he lived. His home had all the modern conveniences in those days, including a new refrigerator, washer, oven and range, and even a bathtub. Wow. From then on, it was no longer Mr. Bradley, but at his request, just call me Unc. When Unc made us this offer, we were dumbfounded. Without hesitation, we immediately responded with an unmistakable and spontaneous, yes, we would love to share your home and become like your family. Thus began a complete transformation of the Bacchus family's way of life, a dream come true existence, suddenly became possible for us. A modern day miracle would be one way of describing this turn of events. Naturally, we'd all had to pitch in and help Mom, who would be busy preparing the meals, washing dishes, doing laundry, and house cleaning. And Dad taught Bobby and me how to take care of the lawn, grounds, and outside appearance of the property. When we were old enough, we both had a paper route with a progress bulletin, the daily newspaper for Pomona. As the years passed by,
my unk offered mom the opportunity to get a real estate license and join him in operating his business. She was really happy about that and worked for him in his office for a few years. She loved people and was very hospitable and did quite well in contributing to his business. One of the most enjoyable family experiences we shared with Unc was going to Sunday dinners after church to some of Unc's favorite restaurants, including the Crystal Cafeteria, the Claremont Inn, Knott's Berry Farm in its beginning stages, as well as other well-known eating spots throughout the area. On those Sundays when we weren't going out to dinner with Unc, Mom would invite friends from the United Brethren Church to join us for dinner at home, and sometimes either a visiting missionary or a special speaker. Since she was so proud of her unusually talented cooking skills, she wanted to share them with others. At that time, the United Brethren Church was meeting in the Women's Community Club on Monterey Avenue in the early 40s until our new church was built in a few years later. When Hunt began to take a personal interest in me, he offered to take me with him to enjoy some of his favorite activities, and Mom and Dad said that was just fine. He took me to the Bowling Green in nearby Claremont and Los Aranis Country Club near Chino, where he kept his boat so we could fish together on the lake and enjoy the lunch which Mom had packed for us. During the summer, his F nephew Kim from Alhambra, who was an old year older than me, would also visit us, and Unc would drive Kim and me up to his cabin at Big Bear Lake about a three-hour trip in his shiny blue classic 1938 Packard sedan, and he pulled a boat loaded with camping gear and our bikes around those scary mountain curves. He was still driving up to the lake in his early 70s. To this day, Kim has remained a friend of my brother and me nearly 65 years later. Through the years, Unc and the Bacchus family became very close and shared quite a lot together, and I was really sad when he passed away and missed him very much and felt kind of lost without him. He was the best kind of uncle a kid could ever have. Since Unc made this wonderful way of life possible for our family, it is my desire to convey just how much he meant to us. Mr. Edward D. Bradley will be remembered for his wonderful gift of kindness and generosity to us, as well as the unique style of life and demonstration of love, which he, we have never, ever forgotten. He provided an extraordinary, unforgettable opportunity for me personally. I came to know him quite well and greatly respected him as a result of the quality time we spent together and the effort which he demonstrated to make me feel part of his life. Unc's contribution to my life enabled me to enjoy to the fullest extent my boyhood days with many special memories which have influenced my life considerably, even to this day. That's about it, my story of a kid growing up in Pomona during the 1940s.